the success of the modern NAS box can be traced back to the complexities of supporting Windows-based servers 20 years ago. What IT professionals desperately wanted then were turnkey solutions that didn't require special qualifications to manage, and could be rapidly deployed or repurposed when business requirements changed. From a certain perspective, it was Microsoft that inspired the NAS revolution when it made Windows Server overly complicated to administer. Buffalo's latest 5010 series Terra stations are the modern descendants of those early NAS solutions. They are sturdy drive enclosures, now endowed with 1.0 GBE network connections and solid state storage. We recently received the Terra Station 5210DF from Buffalo, in order to discover what makes this equipment special in a highly competitive sector. So here goes. Design. From the outside, there isn't anything truly special about the Terra Station 5210DF. It's a solid plastic and metal ensemble, with two lockable drive bays together with a small LED display on the front, and a collection of predictable ports on the rear. These include dual gigabit Ethernet plus a single 10 GBE port, allowing for three independent network connections. In addition to the fan exhaust, on the rear are two USB 3.0 ports, primarily for connecting additional external storage. As with many of these types of devices, it's decidedly more interesting on the inside. Built around a 1.7 GHz on Napurna Labs quad-core AL314 ARM processor, 4 GB of DDR3 RAM comes pre-installed, along with two Enterprise Class 2.5-inch SSDs. The review model came with two 1 TB SSDs installed, making for a total capacity of 2 TB if you use them in a RAID 0, Stripe, configuration, or 1 TB if you prefer RAID 1, Mirror, for resilience. There is also a dual 256 GB version available, with 512 GB of potential space. For whatever reason, Buffalo doesn't sell this kit with 512 GB, 2 TB, or 4 TB drive options, even if drives of those capacities are widely available. You can't buy the 5210DF without drives, but you can install your own later. Anyone who has operated a NAS box will accept that having the foundation of effective hardware is important, but for this to be fully exploited requires an extensible software platform. Web Management GUI For the typical IT services manager, the 5210DF ticks a few boxes. It is VMware certified, can sync 10,000 user accounts from an active directory, runs RSYNC, and supports ISCSI volumes. There is also a degree of cloud support for both Dropbox and Amazon S3. Unfortunately, the S3 support is exclusively for upload and not for synchronizing S3 clouds.